Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Swiftec MCX159 chipset cooler. What is included in this package is a bag of bolts, screws, etc. Also some thermal compound, a hex wrench, the cooler, and an installation guide. This product comes in three different models. The MCX159A for the AMD processor platforms, the MCX159P for the Intel processor platforms, and the one I'm looking at today the MCX159R which is the retail version and that has everything you'll need for both platforms. Now this cooler comes with a 40 millimeter sun on fan. This fan spins at 5200 rpms, pushes 6.3 CFMs and is 18 decibels. The heat sink has 96 aluminum ribbed pins. These pins go right into a half inch solid smooth copper base which is going to have great contact between it and the chipset. The overall dimension on this cooler with the fan installed is 40.4 by 40.4 by 62.8 millimeters and weighs in at 8.4 ounces or 230 8 grams. Installation on the AMD processor platforms does require some time. First of all, remove the fan that's on top, then go ahead and slip the wire spring out. Next, if your motherboard is installed, you'll have to remove it. Then, remove the heat sink or cooler that's on the chipset. Then take off any goop that's on the chipset. Then go ahead and apply some thermal compound. And there are a few other things you'll need to install on the heatsink here. There are a couple of these side brackets. One that goes here and one that goes right here. You fasten those on the copper base with these two socket screws. Next, install two bolts right through the motherboard, and in order to do that, you'll get a bolt for each mounting hole, one nut, and two fiber washers. Now, first of all, you go ahead and put one black fiber washer through the bolt, then take the bolt and push it up through the motherboard. And once it's up through, you can then place the black fiber washer on top and then go ahead and screw the nut all the way down so the bolt is nice and tight in each one of these holes. Next, carefully place the heat sink down through these bolts. Then go ahead and slip a tension limiter on over the bolt then a spring, and then secure the heat sink down with these knobs. Now once you've done that, of course you can go ahead then and screw the fan back on top and connect it into the motherboard. The retail version of this product comes already with the wire spring pre-installed for installation on the Intel processor platforms. Now this is very easy to install. You do not need to remove your motherboard to install it on the Intel platforms. However, you do need to do a few things before you install it. You need to remove the existing chipset, heatsink, or cooler, then go ahead and clean it off, maybe with some alcohol, make sure it's nice and clean, then apply some thermal compound. Next, go ahead and place these four neoprene pads on the chipset, which is on the motherboard. Then simply go ahead and place the cooler on top and snap it into the loops that are on the motherboard.
This chipset cooler offers fantastic performance. It's relatively easy to install on both Intel and AMD systems. Of course, with the AMD setup, you're going to have to take the board out, install it through the motherboard. But one good thing about this is that since the cooler is pretty heavy, it's not going to go anywhere if you're transporting your computer system. Now, if you have an Intel-based board, of course, it just goes on those loops that are on the motherboard. I recommend removing this cooler if you're transporting your system because you could pull those loops off. It's not very likely, but since this cooler is fairly heavy, I recommend you do that. Something else about this cooler is that it's fairly expensive for what it is. It's just basically a chipset cooler, but if you want the best, you're going to have to pay for it, and this product is kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, you can go into the forums and register, and remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.